I got here a little late. It seems like uh, people are, don't really understand what crowd work is. <laughs> Half the comics told jokes, and then Brian told all of you to shut up. So I was like, that's not how any of it works, guys. That's wild. We're in a tie. I don't know why he's so mad at you. He shops exclusively at the Under Armour outlet, and he's like, "Don't even fucking sell ties, bro." So you look great. Don't let him. Don't let him do that to you at all. <laughs> You're doing fine. How do you guys all know each other? Friends, all friends. Are all just friends? Are you guys leaving each other? I was talking to the guys. No. No, you're not. It's a lot of Coors Light to not be fucking. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> so you guys met at college or high school or? High school. You met in high school, and now you're 35 and still hanging out. Those are my favorite people from high school. You know, you're like, you guys are doing the same shit, huh? Okay, cool. You show up at the reunion, we're like, we saw your Facebook. We don't need to talk. Uh, we got like, I feel like this, you are like a Russian nesting, Russian nesting doll of this guy. You guys both got like your hats with your sunglasses on and your flannels. I do have a flannel on. I know, I look like I'm in a garden or fuck a girl or something, I don't know. How do you guys know each other? All friends from high school? No? How'd you guys meet? Okay, so you two work together and these are your dudes? Yeah. Okay, so then you guys aren't friends. You two are along for the ride. You just met. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm bringing my guy, don't be weird. We're gonna fucking go to a show where they have to talk to us, it's gonna be fine. How long have you two been dating? Yeah. Three years and too long, oh, shit. You were best friends before you started dating, and then you said you've been dating too long. So that sounds like someone wanted to get their dick wet and it turned into way more <laughs> than you ever thought. He's like, I mean, she's cool to smoke weed and hang out with, but I didn't think it was gonna turn into this shit. She doesn't leave. You're gonna get married? You're ready to get married? So, oh, that's what you meant. You are the smoothest motherfucker I've ever met. Did you hear what he just said? He's like, no, 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 we've just been dating too long, and then it's time to take the next step, babe. That's all I meant. Don't fucking key my car again. Jesus Christ. Good for you. So you got the ring? You ready to propose? Oh, so you're engaged. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Did you set a date or anything? Okay, so you're waiting for everything to settle down a little bit. Okay, all right. And you're gonna get married on a cruise. You ever seen Titanic? <laughs> a lot of things can happen on a boat, is all I'm saying. She, she could fuck a dude in a car on a boat. There could be not enough coal to keep, I don't know if boats still use coal or not, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I stay away from boats at all costs. I know I look like I date a 60-year-old dude who has a boat, but I don't. <laughs> I promise. All right. Second row right here. Couple, how we doing? You guys doing okay? A little quiet, hanging out, a little date night action? Yeah? Where are you guys from? Menor. You kind of, how far is it? I always feel like Menor's the farthest away. 30 minutes? 25. If you're you, because you're just a little speed demon. <laughs> Once you get on the freeway, that's coming from the woman who definitely doesn't have a license anymore. <laughs> you can drive as fast as you want if they don't see it. You just go. <laughs> how you don't know what a ticket means? You don't know how many points there is isn't? What? You find it out and then you run red light? Who said it? the three-day thing, bitch. <laughs> like, nobody in here questioned if you had a DUI or not. Not one person. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen a white woman drunk alone at 6 p.m. Like, she's got it figured out, for sure. Like, that's, I'm gonna let her drive me places. That's where I'm gonna go. You, you're gonna try to claim you weren't drunk at 6 p.m. Because it's only like... You've been drunk since 6 a.m.? No, I've been like, 
It's fine. Here's the thing. You guys might be annoyed, but I promise you she's got like eight minutes left in her, and then she's just going to be... She's going to be using a bird scooter as a pillow. Right. She's, she's like going to a... have a hiccup throw up real quick. Somebody give me a water. I was a comedy show. We did a show called a Joke Show, and I did it, and they said I was the best. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good they threw me out because I was helping. That was like Mary roasting the ghost of Christmas past. Yeah, but you don't get it. Here's the thing: is that drug tricks don't stand a chance against me because I was such. I was the worst one for so long. Wait, she's gone. Okay. Yeah, they're escorting her out. Yeah. Oh, bye. He said jokes on you. Give him credit for that bad joke. He said jokes on you. It was poorly timed. No, he did great. great. He did great. Right. We heard it. <laughs> It's a bully show, you know, I love this shit. She tried to come at the black belt in alcoholism, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, uh, how many flowers do you think she's gonna buy outside from the guys? Uh, oh, they're gonna dance together with no music. <laughs> like, she's so fucked up, they're gonna be like... <laughs> they're gonna, yeah, she's like, she's like, yeah, the old black man faces, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to Manor? <laughs> it's a 25 minute drive, 20 for me. I got zero points on my license. Uh, well, I hope she gets her kids back. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, look, now the cop's here. He's like, give me your shit. Oh, oh y'all kicking her out? Yeah, they kicked her out. Why? Oh. Why do they always do that to the most fun person? Not most fun. That was not the most fun person. That's step step one right there. Yeah, that's, fucking... And that's also hilarious. It's like, oh, uh, jokes on you, lawsuit edition. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good was coming out of her staying here. Not one thing. Uh. You hugging a toilet, or hugging a stranger. Either way, somebody's getting COVID. That lady <laughs> stayed in the room. Funny to me, right? You know. I don't she, know she's helping COVID mutate right now. <laughs> yeah, she didn't have a mask or nothing. She didn't have a mask, by the way. She no just way. ran out of here, raw face. She's like, the person you see at, at, at drug marks like, like this. Yeah. <laughs> I just need my cigarettes. <laughs> she's like the only female that wants to have sex with any of the comedians you guys saw tonight. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's I'm why not, they're pissed. Listen, that, I'm not fucking her again. Uh, <laughs> She does look like she had a story of like a real low-grade celebrity she fucked one time. You know what I mean? Yeah, her Paula Mudd. Uh, <laughs> Their backup keyboardist is sick of my butt. Yeah. Chad Zumach finger banged me at Rover Fest. <laughs> now I'm getting another fucking email from that weirdo getting mad at me. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the YouTube comments on this one, guys. That nigga, oh my god. He's still alive. Man, he's still out here ticking. Like I'm like, damn, he ain't died from COVID or homelessness or nothing. He's just around here just being an asshole, doing a podcast on his phone, mad as fuck, wind blowing and all the time. It's like, cause he's had a whole podcast about me, you, and uh, Joe Howard, just mad as fuck. And he called, it's called Joe Howard is a bitch. <laughs> Very on the nose type of title for everybody that wants to know. So I got emails from, oh, I had so many racist emails on my goddamn website. I was like, God damn, this is stupid. These hicks know I gotta use, they know how to type. Fuck. You know what's awesome, and that explains what a piece of shit he is. I just said his name, and everyone just got bummed out instantly. <laughs> They're like, "Ah!" It's like he ain't dead yet. Fuck! I want to piss on his grave so bad. <laughs> it's all my other things to do. Like when he dies, I'm like, "Cool, I gotta go to Florida one time, just appear that nigga's grave, and go back home." It's like, "Yep." Yeah. Go go with us, Orlando. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mary. All right, yeah. We love you. yeah. Keep it going for Mary. Mary. Mary Santora. Her album just dropped on iTunes, buy it. <laughs>